it's about that time. I know y'all been waiting on it. Plenty of y'all been sending me this and y'all been wanting me to touch on this subject and I might as well do it. Let's go ahead and talk about the underlying situation revolving around 50 Cent, Beyonce, and Jay-Z. A lot of y'all don't know, man. I'm gonna give you a brief explanation. I won't talk too much right now, but I will pause it a few times throughout the video just to keep y'all up to speed and up to date for a lot of the new people that don't know what's going on. But for you or those who don't know, yes, 50 Cent and Jay-Z has been having this um, unconfirmed beef that's been going on for years. But 50 Cent goes on to reveal why possibly, allegedly, that beef could be going about. And for everybody who's, I'm positive that's a human being or be on the internet, y'all hear about every year something revolving around Beyonce and Jay-Z. So I don't feel like I gotta get too much into that. I mean, it's, it's, I'm positive it's gonna, it's gonna possibly be explained throughout the video. So just kick back and make sure if y'all enjoy my reaction, um, that you smash the like button, comment and subscribe for your boy, man. The more likes this video, get the higher that it rank. Let's get into it, man, let's go. Cent is exposing Jay-Z and Beyonce for allegedly doing ritual sacrifices. Hey. And it looks like Fiddy is saying J and V will do literally anything mm -hmm. to stay on top. Yep. You know what I mean? You got certain guys that are, uh, their relationships made them so powerful like mm -hmm. in our business that they can't be moved. Like. 50 Cent and Jay-Z's feud has been going on for years, but Fiddy recently revealed that he's not interested in repairing the relationship, and that's mm -hmm. because he allegedly has inside knowledge of Jay and V's sacrificing people who get in their way. Mm -hmm. And this isn't even the first time we heard that Jay-Z eliminated multiple people to make way for himself. Yes. Big L was who put Jay-Z on. Oh. That's what I was finna say, Big L. A lot of y'all don't know, man. Big L was basically like, Jay-Z was Big L's right hand, man. I'm sorry I paused, but I had to let y'all know just in case some of y'all not sure who Big L is. Man, back in the day before, Jay-Z was Jay-Z. When you seen Jay-Z with Big L, it was, oh, that's Buddy who be with Big L. It wasn't, hey, that's Jay-Z. And, and and that's Big L that be with Jay-Z. It was reversed. Like, he wasn't no, but Jay-Z wasn't nobody at the time when Big L. I mean, he was coming up, but yeah, but... Big L was way more popular than Jay-Z at the time. Without well, question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you mm. know, Jay-Z. Passed and away. Jay-Z came you know, big. He starts clientele with Tupac and clientele with Biggie and doing songs with Biggie and mm. building a working, you know, camaraderie with Honeycombs. Mm-hmm. And... Um, AKA Diddler, I mean Diddy. As for Beyonce, she was accused by her former team members of doing witchcraft, and Fiddy once claimed that Beyonce tried to jump him over his feud with Jay. Mm. Kimberly Thompson, a former drummer for the singer's all-girl band, is accusing Beyonce of, get this. It's not even just the drummer. I think it was the drummer, the bodyguard, the dancer. I think it was two dancers. I mean, it was a lot of people has been coming out and filing lawsuits against them. Extreme witchcraft and magic spells and the murder of Kimberly Thompson, a former drummer for the singer's all-girl band, is accusing Beyonce of, get this, extreme witchcraft and magic spells and the murder of my pet cat. But what does Fiddy really know about Jay-Z and Beyonce's rumored sacrifices? And did he actually come close to being their victim? Jay-Z and them was putting it together. Hmm. So I, I think they still harbor some energy towards me. For the longest time, Jay-Z and Beyonce were considered untouchable, and everyone who had something negative to say about them was branded a hater. However, their power couple status no longer holds weight because multiple industry insiders recently started coming forward with disturbing stories about the real J and B. One of these people is 50 Cent, mm -hmm. who reportedly has a lot of dirt on Jay-Z and Beyonce and their alleged involvement in Hollywood sacrifices. And Kanye West. To give you some context, 50's feud with Jay-Z has been simmering for over 20 years, and what started as a friendly rivalry turned into something much more serious. 50 first fired shots at Jay on his 1999 song, How to Rob, and Jay retaliated on It's Hot, Some Like It Hot, with the infamous line, I'm about a dollar, what the F is 50, 50 cents. Cent. <laughs> However, when Jay did an interview with Angie Martinez in 2002, he claimed that he spoke to Fiddy and it was all love. Wait, you know, who you know, you and 50 Cent? Yeah, yeah you know I, um, you know I, uh, I put a, um, um, you know I, you know I respect your, you respect your record. Yeah, yeah, I like that record, it was hot. But you know I gotta spank you dogs. <laughs> That was the conversation. No doubt, do your thing. Right. Gave each other Peace. Pound. 
But it actually wasn't all love, because Jay kept sneak dissing Fiddy, and Fiddy accused Jay of buying his way to the top. There's a huge difference in energy internationally in 50 Cent and Jay-Z. Mm-hmm. In fact, his largest selling record sold 400 yep. and 30-something thousand copies. My largest selling records, plural, I mean. two of them sold 5 million. Mm-hmm. That's Get Rich or Die Trying and Massacre. You know, so it's a huge difference in who we are with each other internationally. Let them be fooled in America and think there's a competition there. Because America can be purchased. We can buy it with marketing dollars. Hold on, hold on. All right, this is going to be my last time pausing. I promise y'all, but y'all don't want to miss this. Let me tell y'all what what he possibly could mean, okay? I'm not 100% sure, but for my knowledge, this is what I get from when he's saying that America can be purchased. Pay attention to that. Let me take my headphones off for this one so I can explain it to y'all how what, what it could potentially allegedly mean, okay? Allegedly. See, it could be seen as like a symbolic statement suggesting that basically like influential groups or individuals such as, y'all, bro, like, y'all know what I'm talking about. But basically like them group of, of individual people or individual groups or whatever you want to name it, they have the ability to manipulate and control the United States behind the scenes, basically. They, they doing everything behind the scenes. Like we don't see, it. you got to Kurt, they have the ability to do all of that. And on a deeper level, it can also imply that, you know, the country's political, economics, uh, and social systems are subjected to manipulation by these Direct individuals or groups, secret forces, whatever you want to name it, for their own secret agenda. Just think about what I said, y'all. I'm telling y'all, like, I, I, that's, I personally feel like that that's what he meant by that. I mean, if y'all have a different outlook on what he was meaning, please comment it down below. I would love to know y'all outlook on what y'all thought he said by that, but that's what I think, you know. Also had a problem with Jay-Z's God complex. Telling Rolling Stone in 2009, he has a king complex. He thinks he's effing Jesus. This Jay Hova sh and in the same interview, Fiddy accused Jay of betraying his former Rockefeller artist, Beanie Siegel. Mm -hmm. I think Jay was saying, Rock left the Mia. We family. It's the Rockefeller gang. Mm -hmm. And then using traditional business tactics, Fiddy told Rolling Stone. He didn't have their interests in mind. He was just doing what he had to do for himself. But Fiddy isn't the only person who accused Jay of stepping on a lot of people to get to the top. Former bodyguard Uncle Ron recently went viral on TikTok with claims that Jay-Z and Beyonce destroyed many artists over the years. I know so much about you and what you've done. I know so much on how you got where you are, how you stepped on the many people. Beyonce, how you guys ended Carrie Hilson's career. Mm -hmm. Because she said something about you. That's how hateful you guys are. How you step on anybody to stay on the top. And then Jaguar Wright, who actually used to work for Jay-Z, alleged that a lot of people who were close to Jay, like Big L, either died or had their careers destroyed so Jay could climb to the top. The first time I ever saw Jay-Z or even heard him spit a rhyme was at an MC battle, street battle in New York. But he didn't show up as Jay-Z. He didn't show up as the hottest rapper on the street. He showed up as the that was with Big L. I told y'all. I told y'all. Rest, Rest in peace, Big L. Rest in peace, Big L. One of the that dopest. Was the One of the dopest. Yes. Big L was who put Jay-Z mm. on. Mm -hmm. Without a question. And then Big L died, and then the next thing you know, Jay-Z. Speaking of sacrifices, there's also been a lot of rumors among hip-hop fans that Jay sacrificed R&B icon Aaliyah, Aaliyah so Beyonce could step up. Aaliyah's ex and Jay's former business partner, Dame Dash, claimed that Jay tried very hard to get with Aaliyah. However, Aaliyah wasn't interested in Jay like that, and in 2001, she tragically lost her life in a plane crash in the Bahamas. And that same year, Jay started dating Beyonce. The crazy thing about Aaliyah's death is that a lot of people believe she was sacrificed because eyewitnesses revealed that she was given a sedative and carried unconscious on the plane. Mm -hmm. Kingsley Russell, who was 13 at the time, was in the car that drove Aaliyah and her team to the airport for their return flight to Miami. According to Kingsley Russell, they took her out of the van and she didn't even know she was getting boarded on a plane. Besides that, Dame also revealed that Jay-Z knew that R. Kelly abused Aaliyah and yet he refused to cut ties with him. But the thing I didn't understand is I was like, I know I'm not with that. And 
And because of the moral challenge and him choosing one way, I knew morally we weren't the same. Damn. So Damn. to me, Rockefeller was the <clears throat> funk. It was over. Hey, for real. Well, I couldn't f with it. It was something that, to me, was just like, not to say unforgivable, but un I couldn't understand it. You know what I'm saying? And then I didn't understand how people didn't, un I, I thought, well, then the people aren't gonna have that. But nobody said nothing. Mm. Also, we can't forget that Mary J. Blige once referred to Aaliyah's death as a spiritual, spiritual murder. murder. Yep. And though she refused to elaborate on what she meant by that, it's safe to say that she knows something about that plane accident that we don't. I just know that that was a murder. You know what I'm saying? That was a spiritual murder, whether people know it or not. Because God don't kill people. You know what I'm saying? Whether people know it or not. And um, I could go deep, but a lot of people, I would have to really bring proof. You know what I'm saying? For what I learned. And she just was cut down in the prime of her life. And it's so unfair. And um, it wasn't time. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't, I, I believe it wasn't her time to go because from what I know, it ain't supposed to go down like that. Nope. And um, just simple obedience, like, you know, your gut always warns you. This, that your gut never lies to you. And something like luggage and clothes and jewelry and all this madness that we worship is called false idols. We need to really look at the bigger picture right now yeah. and look at how yeah. honey. As for Beyonce, she's faced her fair share of accusations about doing witchcraft and performing sacrifices. And these allegations came directly from people who worked with Beyonce for years. In 2018, Beyonce's former drummer of seven mm -hmm. years, Kimberly Thompson, accused Beyonce of doing extreme witchcraft, and she even filed for a restraining order against her. This has been going on since 2006, and it's just been getting worse and worse and worse. And for a very long time, I put this person on a pedestal. I love them. Mm -hmm. I send emails, you know, publicly, happy birthday and all this stuff. And the entire time, this person was casting spells and manipulating me and controlling my job situations, my relationships, um, just all kinds of things. And then more recently, Beyonce's former dance captain, Ashley Everett, who worked with Beyonce for almost a decade, mm -hmm. was caught liking a series of shady posts and comments about Beyonce, including one about Beyonce being a demon. This post referenced a speech by poet Jackie Hill Perry, who recently went viral after claiming that artists like Beyonce and Kilani are used as puppets to promote demonic music. I don't know who told us you gotta be a witch to be black. You are not more black by engaging in witchcraft that is still propagating a white supremacist lie that black people in Africa didn't know Jesus. Because we are women who are going to love God with all of our heart and all of our mind and all of our soul. We are not going to imitate the detestable practices of the nations. I am angry that the powers that be in social media and in culture and in music and in Beyonce's music and in Kalani's music and in whatever the other and in Santa like I'm angry that they are really trying to convince us that all spiritualism is the same mm. and we have digested this impurity and this we, we want so bad not to be legalistic that we actually become profane as for 50 Cent, he previously claimed that Beyonce actually tried to jump him over his feud with Jay-Z. And the way 50 described this incident made it sound like Beyonce was actually possessed. So Beyonce <laughs> jumped down on you. She jumped down. Oh, she was like on a windowsill. Right. We was in Vegas. She said, come on, I'm talking to her. She jumped out. She was like, da, da, da. and I'm like, wait, what is she doing? That stuff, that's me and Jay-Z stuff. This ain't got nothing to do with you, bro. Like, so who was it there? Me. I'm talking to Jay. I'm talking, talking to Jay. Jay. As soon as I talked to Jay, she jumped down, came over. I said, oh, shit, look at this. They about to jump you. Nah, she came like she was ready. She like, ready. I thought something was going to happen. <laughs> and I'm like, yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> She's throwing me off now. <laughs> Cause I don't know what exactly how to respond to <laughs> By the way, Kanye West also recently claimed that Beyonce and Jay-Z are controlled by the elite. Oh, God. And he pointed out how in Hollywood, a lot of people connected to these big stars either die or disappear under suspicious circumstances. Yep. You get what I'm saying? They can control Shaq. Mm -hmm. They can control Charles Barkley. They can control LeBron, LeBron James. James. They can control Jay-Z Jay and Beyonce. Beyonce. No, no, you, man. But they can't control me. And they see. Now in Hollywood, a lot of people come up missing. Hey, you see what they doing to him now? Feels like it might be a lot of that mm -hmm. in order to control, traumatize. Control, that's what, it is, that America could be purchased, for real. They want to monetize and traumatize. traumatize. 
And now we're again hearing from 50 Cent that he has no intention of ever making peace with Jay and Beyonce because these two put business above everything and anyone else. In his recent interview on Big Boy TV, Fiddy alleged that Jay tried to use his connections with the NFL to sabotage his performance at the 2022 Super Bowl. However, Eminem ended up giving Jay an ultimatum and told him he won't perform unless Fiddy. Nas. The best. Hmm. Jay-Z. Business! <laughs> Good business. <laughs> Oh, but does yeah. this mean Jay-Z and Beyonce actually Man. sacrifice people for fame? Well, it seems like a lot of fans are convinced this is exactly what they do. And they're saying Fiddy is smart for distancing himself mm -hmm. from the Carters. Explains a lot for me, one fan said. I wondered how Jay got all the recognition for a talent I never saw back in the day. Climbing over others makes sense to me. And another fan wrote, I love Fiddy and give him props for always speaking facts when it comes to the dark industry. But he's talking a lot lately, so we hope he's not going to suddenly pass away just like all the others, especially those close to the rivals of Jay-Z, Beyonce, and Puff. But what about you? Do you think Jay-Z and Beyonce really sacrifice people for fame? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to watch this next video. Man, see, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about that, because I personally think, allegedly, that a lot of things happen. Let me watch my words and make sure I watch what I say. But allegedly, there's a lot of things that go on, and it has been a lot of um, situations that have come about between Beyonce and Jay-Z, and that is true. I don't understand how Jay-Z is this on top of the world for somebody who didn't sell close to as many records as 50, and plenty of other artists as well. I'm not finna take nothing away from Jay-Z. I mean, be, it could be because of Beyonce, or it could be because of them together, man. You see where Beyonce's career took after the Aaliyah situation. I mean, a lot of this stuff we talked about already, man. I kind of paused in it between. I apologize if I did. I mean, if that's not something y'all like, if y'all want me to just save everything I have to say until the end of the video, next time I will, but just communicate that with me, you know, because I want to make sure that this is also a comfortable space for y'all to where y'all not feeling irritated by me pausing and giving some valuable input, you know, and I wouldn't pause it if I feel like it's nothing that's non of, of, of non-value. Yeah, I personally think that it's a lot of stuff that we don't know. You know, and I personally think that it's a lot of stuff that we will never know. You know, I mean, honestly, America can be purchased. A lot of this stuff can be controlled. If you think that America can be purchased, what do you think everybody that lives in the place? Like, come on now. That's a lot of underlining um, situations that happen. And I feel like, honestly, out of a lot of artists, I know I touched on um, Tyler Perry. I know I touched on um, Oprah. But I feel like Beyonce and Jay-Z is just up there. And it's crazy because they are always the people. Them, them four people I just know, they are always the one that are talked about amongst conversation. But yeah, man, y'all let me know y'all honest thoughts and opinions down below, man. Let me know what you genuinely know possibly think and inform you on some stuff man i'm learning a lot about this as well you know what i'm saying some of the stuff i already knew um because i did a lot of research of this years just throughout time it's a lot of stuff that present itself that i just remember it's a lot of stuff that i do know as well that i mean it's probably blind to y'all because y'all not really in the entertainment industry to where y'all can just know things doesn't make sense yeah man uh hit that like button man let's get this video to ten thousand likes man uh let's break them records man let's get it let's go